reasons why you should stay in academia. If you like all those things that professors get to do, then there is no other job that allows you to do that. If you only like doing the science outreach, you can work at a museum, you can work for science outreach organizations. I think even as a PhD student, I'm starting to realize you start making friendships all across the globe. In academia, because everyone is a high achiever, everyone makes it seem like you're supposed to be the highest achieving researcher. Everyone makes it seem like you want to land the good grants. You want to take on all those projects, publish in the highest regarded journals. But that doesn't mean that you can't be in academia without doing those things. How happy you'll be in your job will really depend on your ability to say no to things that you don't have the time to do. I'm so happy you're here for this new video because today I want to tell you guys reasons why you should stay in academia. I'm Michaela, I'm a PhD student in the second language studies department at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I just defended my dissertation, so I'm about to start a new job and we just uploaded a video where I'm telling you guys why I'm taking a break from academia. And that might be a shock to some of you, I don't know, kind of was for me because I never thought or my entire PhD I was thinking that I was going to continue being in academia. And you know, there's lots of talk about why academia isn't the best place to be in. And the video that I uploaded kind of contributed to that bulk of information that's out there on why people are leaving academia. And that for a good reason, obviously, but I still wanna take this video to tell you guys that there are many reasons for staying in academia. It's definitely not something that you should shy away from at whatever cost. So if you guys like this video, give it a like, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to see what it's like living in Hawaii, being a PhD student in Hawaii, or if you want other tips about grad school. We have videos on all of those things. And now let's get into it. The reasons that I think you should stay in academia. I have four of them for you today. My first reason is maybe the most obvious one, but I think this is one that is never ever talked about. I think you should stay in academia if you want to be in academia, if that's what you want to do. I think doing what you like doing, I think doing what you think your passion is, is so much more important than anything else. Obviously, there's many things you have to consider, whether it's really the right thing to do for you, for your lifestyle, for wherever you are at in your life, but in general, do what makes you happy. If you think becoming a professor, doing research, doing anything that you could be doing in academia, if you think that's fun to you, you should consider it. And I don't think you should let yourself be influenced by other people that tell you academia is not a good job to be in just because of many other reasons. I have another reason for you though. Reason number two, professor jobs are really flexible. And we've said this in many other videos before, it's a huge plus of doing a PhD, it's a huge plus of doing research. If you're someone who likes choosing what they wanna work on, who doesn't really like being told what to do, this is a perfect job. And I think this is something we haven't said in other videos before. You can even choose to have a year where you don't work as much and then a year where you work more, for example. So you can even, yeah, you even have the flexibility to wrap your job around your life. So if you're having kids, for example, and you want to stay with your kids a little bit more, you can try to do less in your academic job, do less for a whole year, do, do less for two years, and then you can still go back to it and then take on more projects. This flexibility is something that you don't have in many other jobs. So I think how happy you'll be in your job will really depend on your ability to say no to things you don't wanna do or that you don't have the time to do. So if you can say no, I think being a professor is a really flexible job that can have many, many perks. You do need to keep in mind that the less work you do, the less likely it is to be promoted, the less part of the community, of the research community you will be, which in the end may lead to less publications, to less citations, and eventually to becoming a less impactful researcher. However, 
I think in academia, because everyone is a high achiever, everyone makes it seem like you're supposed to be the highest achieving researcher. Everyone makes it seem like you want to land the good grants, you want to take on all those projects, publish in the highest regarded journals. But that doesn't mean that you can't be in academia without doing those things. If that's just a job that you like, you can do it without putting your work into the job 24-7. But yeah, I know this is a topic that people have lots of opinions on, so don't hesitate to put them in the comments. We can all go back and forth about what we think, and yeah, maybe it'll be helpful to some people that are still considering whether they want to be in academia or not. But let's move on to number three. The third reason why I think you should stay in academia is the international community that you form. I think even as a PhD student, I'm starting to realize you start making friendships all across the globe. You start recognizing names everywhere, people from completely different countries. You go to conferences and meet up with all these people that are from so many different cultures, from so many different places, and you get to re-meet people, get to meet the same people again and again you start seeing people supporting each other, often collaborating, and that's all just a really nice thing to be a part of. I once told another professor that I had been looking into postdocs, and I had been looking into one in one country, another one in another country, countries very far apart, also countries that are very far from the United States. The researcher was actually also not from the United States also far apart from the other two countries. I was talking to him and he said, oh yeah, I know these two people. I've collaborated with them. I've been there multiple times. I've been to their universities multiple times. Like I know them really well. And I thought, wow, just by being in this job for so long, he got to travel to these countries many times. He got to make friendships or form relationships with these people over the course of his career, really building this international community of people. Yeah, that meets at conferences that reads each other's publications and that gets to meet up with each other at each other's universities, which I think is a really cool thing, especially if you love traveling and especially if you love working with people from other countries, from other cultures, yeah, and making new experiences. And I think this is also very unique to a job like this. I'm not saying you can't have that in any other job, but it's definitely a perk of being in academia and being in your field where you have this community. And then my fourth and last reason for why I think you should stay in academia is that the job of a professor has a mix of duties, of tasks that is really unique that you won't find in any other job. So if you like being a PhD student, if you like all the duties you have as a PhD student, if you like mentoring other students, if you like teaching other students, if you like researching, if you like research outreach, if you like serving as a member of the university community, if you like all those things that professors get to do, then there is no other job that allows you to do that. You could go into a job that's only data analysis and research focused in industry. That would be a great job and if that's the most important thing that you like about being in academia or about your PhD, you'll be happy in that industry job for sure. If you love the teaching that you're doing during your PhD, you can go into any other teaching job. You might make more money with that and you'll be super happy too. You won't even have to do all these other things you might not like that much. If you only like doing the science outreach, you can work at a museum, you can work for science outreach organizations. You'll be super happy there in the industry also probably pays you a lot more but again if you like all of those things and if you want to do all of these things together if it's the mix that you like you should stay in academia because that's what you want to do and you won't get that in any other job so yeah i think despite the struggles to find jobs in academia currently, despite the maybe lower pays, I think it's really important to see both sides of the issue. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. You can always DM me on Instagram. You can DM Alexis on Instagram if you like. We're super happy to chat about this. Hopefully some people in the comments will put their opinions in the comments so we can all talk together. I hope you like this video. If you find this video helpful, you can even consider buying us a coffee or buying us boba with the link below thank you guys so much let me know if you want me to make a video about anything else and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos about doing our phds in hawaii more videos about grad student tips 
and being a PhD student in second language studies. That's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Maybe this can be your sign to consider staying in academia.